Hi, I'm Lindsay and this is your weekly news update from OpenMedia.ca. Big telecom company Bell announced this week that it will be reattempting its highly unpopular takeover of Astro Media. It has been just about a month since the CRTC listened to Canadians and blocked this deal, saying it would not be of benefit to the public. Bell's takeover would have meant that Canada's already highly concentrated media system would become even less competitive and offer Canadians even less affordability and choice. The CRTC chair himself went so far as to say that if the takeover were to proceed, the CRTC could not have ensured a robust Canadian broadcasting system without imposing extensive and intrusive safeguards. Now, Bell has responded to all of this not by backing down and accepting the CRTC's public interest decision, but by launching a terribly misingenuous PR campaign that basically takes all our points and says the exact opposite. It's good. Their argument is that somehow, if they were able to take over more of our media system, we would have more choice. It makes no sense at all. Bell has also been sure to actively ignore Canadians who spoke out against this deal through the petition at StopTheTakeOver.ca and other means, and to frame the controversy instead as an industry dispute. It's not just misleading, it's hugely disrespectful to all of us who took action and made our voices heard. This actually reminds me of a similar tactic used by big telecom company Rogers when it was trying to get the government to let them hoard crucial cell phone resources. Rogers created a fake grassroots campaign that tried to manipulate citizens into asking the industry minister to hand the future of wireless over to big telecom and to squeeze independent providers out of the market. Cringeworthy. On the bright side, when Big Telecom sleazily tries to use our own strategies against us to rally Canadians to speak out, it's one surefire way to tell that our tactics work. And it makes it all the more important that you check out public interest campaigns like StopTheTakeOver.ca and take a stand for real competition, choice, and affordability in our media and telecom system. And so, with one last reminder to sign and share the petition against Bell's Takeover at StopTheTakeOver.ca, this is Lindsay with Open Media. Signing off.